Then typically with this meal, you need to have a green vegetable. Mom is always good about having a protein and a right? starch and a green. So this meal, you'd either have a salad or you'd have a steamed green vegetable. How do you I'll find, find the time. time? How do I find the time? Well, I think about food all the time. I get, uh, I think about when I'm eating toast, I'm thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and I usually am thinking about what I want for dinner early enough in the afternoon that I can go and get it, whatever I have a hankering for. So it's really kind of, I like it. I like cooking. I, I think it's, I prefer cooking to going out usually. I mean, there are great restaurants in this town, but I definitely, and I like leftovers. I'm a big leftover fan. But you can, if you get handy at cooking leftovers, that's another real speedy way to make it into another meal. The meatloaf becomes meatloaf sandwiches. Um, turkey. Oh, we would do turkey and we could eat turkey soup. We'd have turkey soup and we'd have open faced turkey sandwiches and. And the regular turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwiches. pasta. And I was telling Lisa, when I, when I recycled for breakfast, I had made fresh green beans, and I took the leftover green beans and made a frittata out of it for brunch the next mm. day. So, I mean, just about anything you find in a leftover can turn into something else the next day. We're going to steam those veggies, oh, and yeah. we're going to feed you. So you already chopped the vegetables? Tell Yasmin about what you told me that I didn't know today about the asparagus. Oh, we... Because I've never done this before. Now, but anyway, raised in Minnesota mm -hmm. with kind of an upper crust mother, we would only eat that little tiny tip of the asparagus mm -hmm. and the whole rest of it would be thrown away. Mm -hmm. Well now, because they say there's more nutrients, so when you take an asparagus stalk and you snap it, mm -hmm. which is what I did, you know, it tells you where, what part you want to use. You just oh, I didn't know that. You bend it and snap it. Well then, this used to always get thrown away. But what Paul and I have discovered is we take a grater and grate this. Oh. And then we cut it up and use it in stir fry dishes and things. Oh, that's great. Because there's probably a lot of nutrient in this part of it, but it's you know it's tougher. But if you're cooking it in a wok with other foods, so I left this for Lisa to play with so that she could grate it up and. Oh hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in. Now we're gonna eat this stuff. Now this will make great sandwiches tomorrow. Mmm. You have to have it with the oat nut bread. We have a special bread that we have to get. Here you go, Mom. Cool. Are you going to have some too, Mom? Mm -hmm. Maybe really our whole love of food is because we both have an eating disorder. <laughs> Hers is different than mine. I plan my vacations around where I'm going to eat all my meals. Really? <laughs> really? It's really sad. It's not sad. It's just that you enjoy food and you... I mean, the worst thing is to eat something that Thank you don't you. enjoy. I mean, that's part of the reason why I want to learn how to cook is because I want to actually enjoy my food. Yes. I like to put even more ketchup. You know what? I think this is one of the only things I really do eat ketchup on. I can go a little crazy on the ketchup. 